So I turned up the volume on the recording because uh, the game and the game and this music is uh, very quiet, and so I thought that uh, we can make it a bit louder compared to the levels that I usually have to set, so that you can hear more, and that still should not drown out my voice. So let's start level five of Toffee Cat. So we are now in a cave sort of system. And there is danger and there is molten lava and bats. And I just freed that bat, but not before taking a hit from it. Because I guess I jumped at an unfortunate time. Thankfully, we have our heart to refill it. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that I was actually got lucky. I thought that, that was uh, I thought that was some red aura thingy. But that was just a snail, and they are blue, so we can release them by jumping on them. It just takes us two hits, and with bats it takes us one hit, and uh, they are just... They're just a bit hard to catch because of their flying, and a uh, kind of interesting pattern of uh, flying. Ooh, that is a low large one. Okay, okay, we don't want to mess with that hedge hedgehog until we get these. There we go. Now, I hope that I, there is a way for me to get back into that area after I... Uh... Okay, I, I just tried to make use of the boxing gloves to kill any of those animals that we might have seen with red auras, but I'm pretty sure that because I entered that secret area first, which I was taught to by the game to enter secret areas first because uh, before going on, uh, but oh, that is, oh my goodness, that is, uh, that might be an actual mole, like the, the things I've called moles, I, I'm not sure what they're called, but I, I'm not sure which one of them is a mole, but okay, but there we go, they also take two hits to kill and they Eventually, they uh, regularly disappear underground and then pop up right back so they can uh, kind of uh, surprise you like this. Oh my goodness, this is... Uh, okay, there we go. Now, we didn't get all the food. I'm going to blame the deceptiveness of that secret area for it. And since we can leave, I am not going to go uh, try to restart the entire level to get that area. Just no way. Let's face it, no way. But we did complete this level, so level 6. Another cave thingy, I expect to see more of snails, moles, and bats. And still, of course, hedgehogs. We do see those uh, pesky hedge hedgehogs because we currently don't have a cave equivalent for a red aura animal. Oh my goodness. Just... There we go. Yeah, bats are just more dangerous in general than... Okay, come on. Be kidding me. Come on, come on. Uh, but they're more dangerous than uh, dragonflies. Oh my goodness. Because they're... They can be really fast. I think their speed does vary, but they can be really fast and... Uh, they kind of wiggle, which means that it is not as trivial to land on top of them all of the time. But this one, for example, that did work, and we are slowly getting our health back via food. And there is a heart here, so okay. Now we have to go all the way back, I guess. The controls in this game are uh, pretty... Specific, as in we have to get used to all of this inertia, and uh, I guess I'm not going to be able to get that hard. Well, whatever. It's not food. If I can't eat it, why care about it? Am I right? Oh, I can eat it. Okay. I mean, get it. I probably can't eat a heart, and I just took another one uselessly. But with this level, I'm just going to bank on the fact that I'm not going to need a lot of hearts. I mean, yes, the bats can uh, mess us up a bit. But, if we go about it the right way, see, both of them released. Such an ominous ver word in this game, released. Okay, there we go. Because we, we basically 
we destroy them, we annihilate them with logic and facts by jumping on top of their head and there we go, after that their life has no troubles anymore. Okay, let's see if we missed anything at the bottom. Oop, we absolutely did miss something or someone. Ah, I would die here if, if I uh, wasn't uh, in a good condition before then by having full health. But yeah, I can afford to be a bit... Oh my goodness, that hit me too. But yeah, I can afford to be a bit risky sometimes because I do have a lot of health. But I can no longer afford to be risky because there is a risk and then there's too much risk. And me just aimlessly trying to get the animals without aiming at them or anything is too much risk. Also that, I could have died there, but... I didn't, and that is all that matters, am I right? Okay, we need 10 more food, let's hope that we can get all of it on and after this roller coaster. Ooh, that was a weird secret area, it was kind of like... Okay, 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 I need to touch you, bad. Come on. Oh my goodness, the bat is not going to let me touch it. Okay, there we go. Though, I, I just kind of wasted those gloves. I mean, I killed a few snails, but the good thing is there are no red aura enemies here, so no matter how many snails there are, and even moles, I can uh, eventually get rid of all of them just by jumping. And we got all the food. I assume we released all the animals. Yep. That is level 6. Now there is level 7. Let's see what it has to offer as far as cave amusement goes. More danger, huh? Okay. Oh, come on. I was so close to hitting that mole. Let's see where he responds. Right here. Okay, I jumped in time because I had a feeling that might have been where he respawned. Alright, another heart that I don't need. Also, this seems familiar. A secret... I'm pretty sure this was this also happened on the last level. I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that situation where lava and secret area to the right of it, and then we have to make a jump. I'm pretty sure that is exactly what ha happened in uh, one of the last level's uh, situations. There is a mole here. There is absolutely a mole here, no doubt. Oh, and there is also a bat. Ah, there was an area over there. That I'm sure there is a way to get to. Oh my goodness, come on. Like, I'm sure there's a way to get here, but... Oh, oh no, I should just try jumping over here. I, I kind of forgot about the fact that... We can jump. Okay, that was... Uh, even for a roller coaster, a bit too... Fast, I might say. Oh, come on. Aiming on the bats, definitely a bit tricky. Oh my goodness, that had that should have worked. Oh well, we still ended up releasing them, which is still a uh, fun to think of as killing. Even though this is not the type of game where killing would be something too fun. I mean, it, it tries to go with a more light-hearted approach. Uh, and I know that there's plenty of games where killing is a present that's very casual and light-hearted. Like, it, it makes killing into something that's not a big deal by how it's presented. But this is not one of them. This actually does avoid killing, I think, entirely. Like, even the deer. We, we didn't kill the deer. We released him. It just took a while due to his uh, boss-like nature. There we go. Both of the moles are... Free if he had. Oh, okay, okay, that la that's lava in it would have would have messed us up a bit. Meow. Okay, heart. I'm gonna wait here for the bat. There we go. I sh I, I definitely missed something over there. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll go and uh, check. Oh, another bat. Gotta be careful around these parts, especially high up cave parts because they uh, bats love to dwell over there. And what another thing they love to do is uh, fly so close to the ceiling that it's basically really hard to get them 
Like, it's hard to end up on top of them if there's almost no space on top of them. Oh, there's another bat over there. But it doesn't fly as, uh, as far as here. Okay, there we go. And now we got uh, everything. Oh, come on. There, there's gotta be a mole here, right? Right? No, no, there's just a finish line. Got all food and released all animals. Level 8. And there is uh, that thing. So let's see how different this boss battle is going to be from the deer. Because, oh dear. Sorry, I, I had to. Oh my goodness. What I did not have to do is get hit by that bat. Twice. Okay, at least I killed it. It was really annoying. So that sound, it's sound of uh, either a large dragonfly or a lot of dragonflies. Oh boy. And as usual, secret area here. I guess I should take this heart because uh, I do lack a heart, so it's not gonna be wasteful. Oh hey there, oh come on. I am going to wait for you, Mole, because I wanna annihilate you and any other possible threats before getting on to face the dragonfly coalition. And uh, as you can see, with, individ with each individual one, once we free it, it uh, turns into a regular nice little blue dragonfly. And it's almost dead, so that's why I'm not too concerned about my hearts. Especially since I can get one like this. There's a lot of food up here, wow. Okay, okay, where are you at? Where are you at last one or two dragonflies that I haven't yet released? Because I am gonna do so in a heartbeat. Oh, there we go, one of them. And there we go, that was the last one, so we have officially beaten the second boss. Uh, not quite as hard as I remember them being. I mean, I don't remember them being too hard or anything. I, I wonder if there's a secret over there. No, no, I'm just, I'm just wasting. Oh my goodness, I almost died because uh, that looked like something with a secret. But oh well. <clears throat> yeah, that's. Uh, I don't remember the bosses being hard or anything, but I do think they, they did uh, pose a risk of me dying last time I played. This time. There was a bit of a risk, but you could see how well we handle all that. We destroyed them in no time. It's just that, like, since we're in the air and have to handle that, that's the main reason that... that this boss can be tricky. Despite each individual piece dying easily. Also, we released 4 out of 5 animals. That that leads me into thinking that there was a mole that we missed because it was underground when we were there. But also, I guess the bosses don't count. Because I'm pretty sure I killed at least 2... I'm, I'm pretty sure I killed at least 4 animals in addition to all of those dragonflies. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, perhaps the bosses, doesn't, the bosses don't count. Oh well, this is Toffee Cat uh, levels... 5 through 8, and in the next and final Toffee Cat video, we will advance all the way over here and find out what happened and why and uh, perhaps free nature of this electrifying force that uh, turns everyone evil. Or we won't find out anything. I don't have high hopes. <laughs> so, see you in the next video. Bye.